talking about Hina stuff, um, solidarity, love and support to everybody that's been let go from Bandcamp. Absolutely Hina story, this as it's developing. Um, this is courtesy of RA. It says at least half of Bandcamp staff have been laid off as Epic Games and Songs Trader closed the deal. Um, it continues here, it says at least half of Bandcamp's employees um, have been laid off according to a statement from the Music Retailer Union today. Yesterday, Epic Games, Bandcamp's former owner and Song Trader in its new owner completed the acquisition of the deal, which was first announced last month. According to Bandcamp's United Statements, around 50% of the staff have been let go as a result. 50% of the staff. And if I'm not mistaken, when they originally were debating or negotiating the deal for... Um, what you call it for song trader to take over um, the acquisition of flipping Bandcamp. If I remember correctly, I remember reading an article that said they were given reassurances. There wouldn't be any firings. And then when they took over, they fired fucking half of the staff, like absolutely wild. So it's a statement from the Bandcamp union. Um, it says today, Epic Games sell to bat of Bandcamp to song trader was closed. And at least half of the Bandcamp staff was laid off. This is heartbreaking. We love our jobs and the platform we built the Bandcamp community. We're glad that we have our union co-workers who have each, um, each other's back. We'll be moving together to decide what to our next steps are on the Wednesday. We return to the bargaining table with Epic Games and we'll keep you updated. Love and solidarity to the whole Bandcamp community. Thank you for your support. And it's interesting because if I'm not mistaken, this has kind of come about because of the union. I think they had some demands. I forget again. I forgot the details directly, but I remember something about they had some demands, the union, or they were trying to unionize. Then they put some demands forth, and then you know, basically, Bank Camp or the parent company said, "You know what? Enough's enough," and let go of a ton of people because I guess they didn't want to acquiesce, acquiesced to some of the demands. Let's read the entire article to see what the vibe is here. It says among the layoffs are JJ Sonic, Diamond Sharp, and Atozi Moinzade, who worked at the Bank Camp's popular editorial team um the daily bank up daily it's unclear what will happen to the platform now each of them posted on x to confirm their news um today's news follows comments from epic game ceo tim sweeney who is that tim sweeney from the radio session thing um who in an email staff last month said that the gaming giant will be laying off 60 percent of his staff in a statement sent to vultures today epic game said there these are not new layoffs so they're trying to argue that these are the same layoffs that they were considering doing before they took over the company, which doesn't make really much sense, to be fair. In response to the acquisition, Bank of United said it is seeking employment offers for all members, as well as a voluntary severance offers and continuation of bargaining process at the beginning. That began, sorry, with Epic Games. Last month, Song Trader told Resident Advisor they would review the union's demands and that its supports um, for the Bandcamp community was its number one priority. <laughs> Honestly, companies are such pieces of shit in it right last month song trader told resident advisor they had reviewed the union's demands and that its support for bank camp community was its number one priority once its purchase was complete then it's like five minutes later 50 percent of the staff got sacked fucking crazy all right contact song trader earlier about the layoffs this is the comment the company's reply after a comprehensive evaluation and including the importance of the roles for smooth business operation and the pre-existing function of Song Trader, 50% of the bank camp's employees have accepted offers to join Song Trader. Those who didn't receive offers will receive severance from Epic as part of their layoffs. So are they trying to say that they didn't lay off anybody and they just gave them offers that they didn't accept? Is that what they're trying to spin it as? Wild. Epic Games bought Bandcamp in March 2022. A year later, Bandcamp United was formed. Um, we'll report more on this story as it unfolds. And then I guess you've got some tweets here from people who were part of Bandcamp, basically talking about how devastated they are. Maybe some of them have been happy. Another one says here, um, this is the JJ Skoklinik says, officially laid off after two weeks of limbo where I expected what would be a case, but no confirmation. Nearly eight years at Bandcamp and it's over. If anyone is looking for a dedicated, talented, professional editor, and culture writer i am on the market people that announce their job you know status like this on twitter really interests me to be fair i wonder how many offers they actually get most of the jobs i've always got in my life have always come from actually applying people who say oh, i can hook you up i can get you this they never follow through and i'm not really somebody that ever asks people for anything i think that's incredibly lame but i wonder how many people actually get things through this process of like hey man can you help me it's like 
I don't know if that actually works. Maybe you have to kind of go out there and graph yourself and just kind of figure it out. Um, get you know, open the Substack. Um, you know, start doing the things people do. You know, set up a podcast, whatever it may be, and then start applying. In it, it just is what it is. But hey, what do I know? Um, another one says, "Hi, friends. Myself and many colleagues were laid off and bankrupt today, and I t- had a good five years there. Looking forward to the future. I'm available for new editing work, social media work. You can reach me on the email in my bio. And obviously, officially laid off in bank camp after two weeks of limbo and with my colleagues. Unsurprisingly, there have been no humanity extended in this process. Our union will prosper though. Still working at Brick. Still freelancing. So don't be a stranger." In response to today's news, artists from across the electronic music scene express their condolences and frustrations. Yeah, we don't care about what the artists have to say in it, really, to be fair. But yeah, um, again, um, my thoughts and feelings go out to all the people from Bandcamp that did get fired. It's never a good thing when you get fired from companies, especially like this. Um, it's even probably more disturbing when it happens um, and it's not done under the guise of like trying to be cost effective because I haven't heard anything so far from the articles that says bank cap was running at a loss, blah, 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 blah. Because those things are probably a little bit more easier to accept because you know they have to cut, make some cuts to kind of make the company stay afloat or help the company stay afloat. So you're not, you don't really take it too personally. But when a company gets bought out, usually from my experience, there's also the option that the company wants to keep the employees, maybe wants to add new employees. And the reason why people are buying them is because they want to keep the thing functioning. So people's jobs are never really at risk. So this must be a doubly hard to deal with because i'm sure a lot of these people were celebrating maybe before the fact that you know what you call it um the fact that flipping um epic games and song trader came in um for the fucking deal and now suddenly this flipping thing is looking very 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 dicey and again um force and feeds go out to everybody that's kind of lost their job there at flipping band camp it's not good it's not great but i guess a lot of people probably for i guess a lot of people probably saw this was inevitably going to happen at some point as soon as bank camp went for sale the first time i think i remember seeing on social a lot of people basically saying this is the end and i think we've now been seen we've seen now um clear examples even with the union set up that clearly bank camp especially how it functions and the fact that it's for the artists and for the creators and bloody blah blah, blah this community feel has completely gone it's just going to turn into another soulless company um just churning out stuff that other companies do like beatport and juno and all these other things that exist out there so that's a really sad thing to, to say about this sort of stuff it started with good intentions it started with a pure goal and then as soon as it got sold the first time every other subsequent sale has completely took away any type of soul any type of humanity from the company and now it just exists as a platform to just churn out music basically isn't it that's basically what it is nothing else nothing more and again the people that suffer are the ones that legitimately were part of building the company from the ground up um so i can understand why that could be really hurtful but again um you know the world is your oyster out there there's loads of tools and options for you to use to kind of spread your message and get your voice heard and then you're hoping also because of all the kerfuffle with this maybe some people will reach out to these people on twitter and kind of give them deals and offers but for me i would waste less time announcing my employment status on social and just get to applying personally if that was me and opening a sub stack and setting up a podcast and doing videos and reviewing stuff for free and blah 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 whatever it may be done i'd get it done just to keep the lights on because it's getting cold it's approaching christmas and you know hey you need that get to get that sorted that's what i would say but again love and light solidarity to everybody over there at bank camp that got fired um keep your head up i'm sure you guys will land on your feet eventually and even if you don't make sure you push these motherfuckers until the end do never let go never take your foot off their necks get your severance get whatever you are deserving of getting or whatever's in your contract and make sure that you get it don't delay don't take your foot off their necks don't feel shy about doing so and i hope that you get a good resolution from that i really 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 do